Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I finally found a video where all four players moved correctly when a lob occurs in doubles. Uh, you know, I make so much doubles content, and I, this video is courtesy of Matt Lynn, by the way. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. I'll put his link in the description below. I finally came across a point where all four players move to the right spot. Let's watch the point in its entirety, and then we'll diagram it. Uh, that was just absolutely a thing of beauty. So you can see both players are back on the return. That simply means that they're afraid of the net player or the returner might be having a tough day. But basically, when the serve comes in and the returner is struggling, this net person is just going to pound the ball right at the service line person. So the service line person, it's a great strategy. Play both back. You'll actually break serve more often because you're not giving this person an easy shot just to nail it at the net player. And they often will go for an angle and miss because it's actually a more difficult shot. So great strategy right off the bat from the returners. So the server serves in volleys. Nice half volley. Now this is a great situation. When you've got a ball in the middle and you've got both players up, you want to go back down the middle and low, try to keep it low and try to ca cause confusion between the opponents. So he does that. He hits the ball down the middle, but no confusion whatsoever. The volleyer easily hits it. Now, this is where the beauty begins. All right. I'm just going to get cut right to the chase. When a lob successfully occurs in doubles, the team who is lobbed should switch, obviously, and they want to both move back. The players who hit the great lob should move to the service line. And this is exactly what happened. Watch this. It's a great lob and watch where everyone goes. This is absolutely a thing of beauty. Now you can see this player sell. He actually has his back to the opponents and that's fine because he's, he's basically assuming that these players are coming up and he wants to see what type of shot his partner hits. And you can see that his partner does not hit a great shot. So he actually is going to run back and you can see this. Watch him go all the way back and he faces forward long before the opponent ever hits the overhead. Now, here's a really cool move. I want you to watch this player. This player is going to hit the overhead. This player actually charges the net and he charges the net because he knows his partner is going to hit an overhead. So as the partner hits the overhead, he correctly aims to the person who switched and was close because he figures he'll have less time to react, which is actually what happens. The player returning the overhead can't do much with it. And because this player here moved forward, he can easily angle this ball off the court. You know, it's rare that I see even pros going to the right spots. The the crux of this video is this. When you hit a great lob over your opponent's heads and doubles, go to the service line. And what I actually tell people is put your toes on the service line. And that's exactly what you see them do. They move in and you can see when the opponent is hitting the ball, they're just behind the service line. That's what you want in case this these uh, the lobber hits a great lob back over your head. You don't want to do what, what Vic Braden called rush the net to lose at a faster rate. You don't want to get all the way up to the net, which is what I typically see and what really I was expecting because it's so common. You see people get right up against the net and then there's all this room behind them. And it's so easy to lob. So you want to keep a lot of the court in front of you so that it's hard for the lob to go over your head, which is exactly what happened. And then the far team, the team who was lobbed, you should switch and you both move back. A big mistake you see is this net person stay up. You don't want to do that or even go to the service line. You don't want to do that. You want to go to the baseline and that's exactly what Cell does. He goes all the way back to the baseline so that he has more time to react. Sure. Did he win the point? No, but he did the right thing by at least moving back and having a chance. All right, let's watch this point in its entirety again.
So when you're playing doubles and you hit a great lob, go to the service line. And when you are lobbed, switch and both move back to the baseline. And if you do, there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.